Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the Top 5 Series. The series I'm gonna do until the day that I die, which means the series is gonna end next week. <laughs> yeah, you guys wish the series would end next week. Now, we're gonna be doing the series for a hot minute, but in case you guys are new here, every single Saturday, we do a Top 5 video about anything in Overwatch. Skins, abilities, heroes, you name it, and this time around, we're gonna be doing the Top 5 Most Underrated Skins in Overwatch. Now, I'll be real with you guys, this video was extremely hard to make. Usually when it comes to like good skins or really bad skins, you either have to look at skins that everybody wears or skins that nobody wears. But when it comes to underrated skins, obviously there's going to be a lot of people that still wear these skins on a daily basis. But when talking about skins that are underrated, you know, you still have to pick skins that the hero looks good in, but you have to also pick skins that not a lot of people wear, which is very hard to do because if it's a good skin, then everybody would wear it. But I did manage to pick a good few skins that are in my opinion, underrated because they belong to heroes with some overrated skins, and overrated skins that easily come to my mind are like Pumpkin Reaper, Honey Dumay, or Pink Mercy. You know, great skins, amazing skins, but obviously everybody wears. More skins that people just don't have an appreciation for, either because they're not OG skins, or maybe some people are torn whether they look good or bad. So, obviously this list is gonna have underrated skins that you don't think are underrated, but I invite everybody to comment down below what underrated skins you think are in Overwatch that you think more people should have an appreciation for and more people should be wearing in Overwatch. But one thing I also want you to do after you comment down below is do my least favorite thing, top corner, top 10 best sprays in Overwatch versus the top five best Overwatch League exclusive skins. Skins that you can only get with Overwatch League tokens and were limited time. I figured San Francisco Shock just got a brand new Doomfist skin, so now would be the perfect time to talk about those Overwatch League skins. But not before before we talk about some underrated skins. Hot gamer boys and e-girls of the Overwatch community, let's begin our list at the number five spot because where else would we start a top five list? Bruh, so many people hated on the skin, I still don't know why, which is why it should begin our list because Orbital Farah is a great concept and a great looking skin. Without her helmet though, yeah, sh she looks a little bit weird. She looks like a bootleg Buzz Lightyear, but then when you put her helmet on, when you look at some of the highlight and shows, bruh, she looks amazing. When I first saw Orbital Fair at the anniversary event, I thought this was gonna be one of those skins that everybody was gonna get hyped for because this was the first astronaut skin, actually, correction, Frogston Winston was the first official astronaut skin, but no, he just has a helmet, all right? He does not look like an astronaut. His classic skin looks more like an astronaut. Farrah looks like that traditional cliche astronaut that every single six-year-old wants to become, but then their heart gets shattered because once they realize that becoming an astronaut not is basically impossible because there's this thing called, well, reality, this would be a good substitute for that dream. You know, I used to want to be an astronaut once, and now I just make stupid memes. <laughs> I just don't get it. Like, you think more people would like the idea of Fair being an astronaut because not only does she make a great looking astronaut, but, but, but she also makes sense to be an astronaut because she's one of the few heroes that can fly in the sky and stay in the sky. Not D.Va, not Mercy, they can't necessarily fly and stay. Farrah and now Echo can freaking fly high into space, which is why this is a great idea for Farrah. Plus on top of that, her gun is literally a space shuttle with solar panels. Like that's such a great idea and a great way to transform her like cylinder gun. So overall, this skin is a home run. People just don't appreciate it, which is why it's a great start for what I mean of an underrated skin. Doesn't mean it's bad, doesn't mean it's ugly, but it's underrated because people think it's ugly. It's not ugly, you're ugly. So am I, so don't think you're alone here. All right, so it's been a while since I've talked about my favorite hero, Hansel. <laughs> May has some of the best skins in Overwatch. Am I biased? Yeah. Like, why Why do I get hated on? Like, I don't care what you think. I do care. I'm a sensitive boy. But there is this one skin. This one skin I want to bring to light, man, because it is so cute. And it's, again, just like Orbital Ferret, it's a great idea for May. Rescue May not only has one of the cutest names of all time, but it's one of the cutest skins. She's a firefighter that has an ice gun that's supposed to take care of fires because ice can put out fires. That's not how science works. I got a D in my science. I I actually got an F for freshman year, but that's not the point. Out of anyone to be a firefighter, it would be May because she has an ice gun. Now, obviously ice does not be fire, but the idea is that her ice gun is supposed to be her water hose that's supposed to put out fires. 
Hence why she's dressed up like a firefighter. But she also has a coat that gets replaced with a firefighter outfit. But on top of that, actually there's two on top of that, she has a snowball companion where his home is a fire hydrant. <laughs> That is so adorable. But the last on top of that is that every single time that you catch on fire, like in game, like you're on fire, she says, is that against regulation? Because <laughs> she's a firefighter. Which only buildings that aren't up to regulation catch on fire because it's a fire hazard. <laughs> it's so funny. Fires are so funny. They're not. But the skin is funny and it has a pun in the name of it. And she's cute, snowballs cute. Like, I love this skin so much, man. Everyone gets so caught up with the thick thighs of Honeydew May and just the thick thighs of May in general, but nobody has enough appreciation for May putting in some honest work, putting out some fires, and saving some people's lives. She's such a wholesome being that I just want to protect her away from all you creeps that keep drawing her in Rule 34 art. Like, what's wrong with you guys? All right, on to the third most underrated skin in Overwatch. Admittedly, I did talk about this in my most forgotten skin video because she's just gotten so many skins in the past, but that doesn't take away from the fact that this skin still looks great. In fact, I'll even say it's one of her best ones because it represents what she represents, which is Great Britain. So that's why I'm putting Track and Field Tracer at the number three spot for the most underrated skins in Overwatch. And why is that? Because like I mentioned before, this encompasses everything that Tracer is about. She's a fast hero, which is why she's a sprinter, but she's also very very British. Like, she is so British. Actually, it's probably gonna be some British people be like, she's actually not that British. God, I wish I had a better British accent. She's representing Great Britain in the Olympics, she, or in the Summer Games. That's not copyright strike me, Olympics. I made that joke last time. But she also has some cool hair, she has a great sprinter outfit, and she also has the Union Jack flag as her cape. I don't know why she's wearing that if she's trying to go fast. I'm pretty sure that wouldn't cause some aerodynamic uh, friction. Th Again, I failed science, guys. <laughs> but there's also a little Easter egg, like for her timer, where the translocator would be. It has leets because she's just just such an epic gamer, y'all. I'm sorry. And her guns have little tiny whistles. Like, there's just so many little details that go into, really, the first event skin for Overwatch, but it just so happened to be for the girl that just got so many event skins. Like, she has so many great epic skins, so many great legendary skins, that a lot of people forget about the OG event skin. So, that's why I think it's underrated, because it gets easily overshadowed, and it was one of the first skins. We got ghoul tracers and even rose tracers in Overwatch, and if you want to be a little unique nowadays, run around with track and feel and get it because run around track and feel I, I want to kill myself so bad. But a lot of these skins look great in their own right. But for the number two spot, this skin, I feel like I'm the only one that loves it. And I don't know why. There's so many great things to love about this skin that I think it's just because of one single aspect. But you know what? I don't care because we need to be a little bit progressed because girls can have short hair and Talon Sombra looks amazing. You guys are just bullies. Y'all are just mean. When this skin first got unveiled for the Retribution of so many people were like, why did Blizzard do that? Why did they give her the bowl cut? She looks so ugly now. She's not ugly! You just do not know that girls are allowed to have short hair because, my God, I love what they've done with her hair. Yeah, it's different. All right, but you gotta think, her regular classic skin has half of her hair shaved off. Like, <laughs> with Talon Sombra, they gave her all of her hair, just kind of shortened it out a little bit, and they still kept that color gradient, but instead of like purple to light purple, it went from black to dark red. And I thought more edgy kids would have loved it because, oh my god, black, red, and white? This color scheme is fire. Her clothes look menacing, but it still serve at the same time. I love her little, like, half skirt. I don't know what you would call that. I like the spider webbing thing. I, again, I don't know what's going on there. I I love it, but here's the thing, okay, if you don't agree with everything that I say in this clip, then that's fine, but at least look at her gun. This is the thing that you're going to be looking at 100% of the time, unless you're trash like me and you keep on dying. It has a bayonet and a red dot sight. Okay, you don't use any of it, but the look of it, come on now, it's an Uzi! Why would you put a bayonet on an Uzi? Probably because she's gonna go to her boyfriend's house to slash his tires, because it's out of love! 
okay? She cares about him, but stop. All right, just chill out, bro. You don't need to slash his tires. You slashed his tires. Okay, well, we could have talked this out. Her hair is a look. Her clothes is a look. Her gun is a look. And if you don't agree, well, she will tell you to agree. I think the only reason why people hate this skin is because of her hair. That's what happened with Lightning Tracer. But there it actually looked ugly. Here it doesn't. <laughs> but it's also another case where Sombra has so many great skins that, yeah, maybe you can wear Rhyme or Demon Hunter or even Bride Sombra over Talon. But once in a while, wearing this skin, you will not be disappointed with the look. But it was actually hard to decide what was the most underrated skin in Overwatch because you have to pick one of the best looking skins that nobody wears. So the way that I went about picking the most underrated skin is looking at the most over overrated skins, not overrated as a bad term, but like skins that everybody wants or that everybody wears, and then looking at the list of the skins that nobody would wear from that hero, and I found it. Ladies and gentlemen, the most underrated skin in Overwatch is Mercy Zukui. I wish I knew how to pronounce the name. The Chinese New Year Legendary Mercy skin. You have to realize that Mercy only has bangers of skins. Like, she does not miss. I wish this girl would miss once in a while and have a bad skin. But she tells all of us no. So whether you want a hot, sexy look with Sugar Plum Fairy, or maybe you want that classic OG look with Witch, or maybe you want the skin that all the K-pop stands and the gamers of Overwatch, Overwatch are gonna go to war with Blizzard over a pink mercy like my god look at Twitter and people are legit fighting over a skin that is over two years old that's how popular that skin is but when you bring up Zaqui mercy which again I wish I knew would pronounce nobody's starting World War 3 over it and I don't know why this is elegant this is beautifully designed this has so many great details that I don't think enough people appreciate it for because of pink mercy because of winged victory because I'm doctor like there, okay there's just so many great skins the staff looks stunning as well with the feathers replacing like the wings at the tip I don't know what they're called but then pair that up with the gold camo and the contrast of red and gold with each other oh it, it, it's beautiful I love it I love the color scheme I love the design I love the details it's all beautiful now obviously there's gonna be some mercy means be like what are you talking about I always wear this skin I hate you you're so stupid you're wrong I'm gonna kill you like I, I, I wish Please do that. End my life with your thoughts. <laughs> But since this skin also belongs to a hero that has one of the best skins of all time and also came with event that is very, very, very old, that is not very popular, the Chinese New Year, and is something that doesn't necessarily have that sexy look, it's one of those skins that a lot of people kind of forget about but need to remember it because it's beautiful. It, it's like, I, I love her. I love Mercy. I love you guys. Mercy means you probably don't love me, but once again, we've been on this and I... Just give me a chance. I swear I can make your life better. But I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More Overwatch videos to come. And bye.